Next, we're going to create an absolute effect with color. So I'm going to go into my effect editor by double hitting effect effect. And to start a new effect, I'm going to say effect three, enter. And it will ask me what type I'd like to create. And I'm going to select absolute. Similar to a step-based effect, an absolute effect has actions. But unlike a step-based effect, you aren't required to input channels into each of the steps. And that's because when we put a level in each action, if a fixture is able to execute that level, it will go there. So let's go ahead and do this with some color palettes. I'm going to say action 1 through 7, enter. And I'm going to have to hit enter again to confirm adding those steps. And just like before, we can use our page right key to go all the way over to our level column. And with all those actions highlighted, I'm going to go ahead and say color palette 1 through 7, enter. And you can see that it inputs all the labels for my color palettes. So I'm going to go back out into live. And now I can run that absolute effect on any channels that have information stored in those palettes. So let's go ahead and say group 2, full rem dim, enter. And we're going to run effect 3, enter. And you'll notice that they're going to chase between the values of those color palettes. Again, we can run this on anything that is stored into those color palettes. So group 9, full enter, effect 3, enter. My side light is going to run those. I'm going to say group 101 at full rem dim to bring up the psych and take everything else out. And I'm going to say select last, effect 3, enter. And you'll notice because my group selection was from the center out, my effect is running in the same direction. If I say group 102, which is the opposite channel order, effect 3, you'll see that my effect now runs from the outside toward the center. Okay, and for now, I'm going to go ahead and say clear, sneak, enter.